guys um so i wanted to do a video because i i got like a lot of messages and a lot of comments um regarding the post i made that cory and i's um case was received and i just kind of wanted to make a video because there was a lot more comments and messages than i thought i would get and i thought maybe a video would be more helpful so one of the main questions i got was like what is our case and first off i should probably start off by kind of introducing what is the i-129f petition because that's what we talk about all the time and that's one of the main questions we normally get when we talk about it and when we talk about the petition that is pretty much a packet and you can look in my earlier video of all of our information and our documents um and it gets sent to pretty much the government. It gets sent in Dallas um, to like a locked box facility and it's a petition to bring your fiance and their children if they have any to the US to start the process to marry you and became and become like a citizen of the US. Um, there's also it also helps if like you're already married and you want to bring them over but that wasn't our case. Um, so again what does it mean when i said our case was received so when you send in your packet each person um that's their case um kind of like in, a, in an in an attorney kind of way so we have our own case number um and we can look up like what's happening where is it where is it at you know all that stuff um and it just means that we our packet was received in Dallas and that they're starting the process of going through it um, and then I guess the next question that a lot of people ask is you like I said that this step was very small for a lot of people it's a small step because it just means that they got the packet um, but for Corey and I it's kind of like a big big step because we have I mean we were long distance for so long and uh, for the last year, I've had the luxury of staying with Corey. Um, I guess not many of you would know. I only have a six month, and I only I only have a six month period to stay with Corey until I have to go home for a certain amount of time and then come back if I need to. Um, so, our next step now with it even just being at the in Dallas, um, it takes about. Uh, six to eight months currently to um, have the US CIS kind of go over our packet. They have to uh, scan all the documents, look over all the documents, look over me and Corey, um, and pretty much just see if all of this is legit. Um, and then they'll send it to what's called the National Visa Center and they pretty much just go through it, make sure everything looks fine, and they send it, they pretty much forward it to um, a consulate office in your fiance's home country. So in our case, it's going to be London. Um, and again, that takes about a month, uh, depending on how quick everything goes. Uh, after that, um, Corey, I'll technically get an, an email as well, but Corey will get a letter sent to him and it'll be a list of instructions that he needs to do before his interview in London. Um, so that would include um, that would include getting the documents that are needed, having a medical done, uh, filling out another form, and maybe some other stuff that I forgot. And then after that, um, he can schedule his interview. Uh, some people say it depends on your country, um, so I think it'll at least maybe be a month depending on how booked up they are. And then after that, when he goes into his interview, um, hopefully they will say everything's good, he'll get his visa then and there, and then his next process is pretty much just to come to the US, um, we'll get married, and then 
we have steps after that that need to be taken care of. So yeah, it's a, it's a it's a long process, but for both of us, it's that was definitely last night getting that message that was just beyond what I could have imagined my heart was racing. I mean, it's just it's just pretty much a notification saying, "Hey, we got it. We're going to start the process." But I mean, we've been together for two and a half years and it's just crazy to think that after working on the petition for a year that it's just in there. It's in the hands of the government, which is scary, but it's it's just it's nice. And I am going to let everybody updated both on YouTube of what happens, when it happens, so we can kind of track our timeline and help others out. Uh, because I know the big question is when you do this whole process is how long does it take? Um, so we will be um, doing videos every time we get a letter or something like that, kind of explaining what it means, how long it took, and then at the very end of our process, we will do a timeline and kind of help others figure out how long ours took. Oh, also another question I guess we get a lot is how much was the petition? Because, I mean, nothing's free. Um, and for me, just to uh, send the petition was $535. Again, it's September 14th, 2018, and the fee currently is $535. Um, I will say whatever if this video, if you're looking at this video a couple years from now, the fee changes quite a bit and often. Um, so yeah, so that's the fee. And again, that fee is still comes out of your bank account, even if it is approved or denied. If it is denied, they will um, pretty much send you your petition back and they will give you some reasons why it was denied. But again, you don't get that money back. So when we all say work on your petition do it well double literally like triple quadruple check everything you do we mean it um because that i mean it's a pricey thing to do and we all want to spend the rest of our lives with our lover so if you have any more questions um you can always comment down below or send me a message hope you enjoy